Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be moving the horses to the new property. So I'm here right now, it's quite early, and I have everything mostly set up. I have most of the stuff that they need, like their food, hay, and stuff. There's obviously still some equipment over there, but that is fine. This main barn is just going to have the like fancier show horses. I haven't decided on which stall I'm going to put each horse in, and then the others can come to these stalls out here. Here's the trailer. I have a guy coming to help hook it up in a little bit. This is an eight horse trailer, so each little section can hold four horses. It connects to a semi truck, which I don't have the actual truck part, which is why I hired someone to do that. And then it also has some rooms in the front, but I don't really need those. I don't think I will be able to film a lot of it because it will be kind of chaotic. So right now I'm just going to drive over to the other plot and get all the horses ready. So first we're going to take the older horses. So these four over here and then there are two over here. Even though that's only six, I'm thinking all the others will still be able to fit in one trip and we don't want to overload ourselves. So these two and then the four over there, I think we'll go first and then we'll come back for the others. We don't want to put, make it too full or anything. So yeah. Oh my goodness, that was crazy. So we got the six horses here. They're in these first stalls over here. They were really good, but it was just a lot, you know, when they got here, they were very excited and pawing in the trailer and stuff. So hopefully it goes well with the younger horses. We have them put away in their stalls. The one thing that I don't like about these stalls is they don't have windows to the other horses are in the back so we are going to try to add those soon but the builders couldn't get out before we moved which is fine but that will be a nice addition for them they were really good they just got super excited but now it's time for the other show horses and they're going to come in this main barn so this main barn doesn't have a lot of stalls this main barn only has 10 stalls but they are really big like if we come in here it's a very good size and this barn too they also don't have windows to the other horses which i don't love but again we're gonna get it added soon this barn is so nice and i'm really excited and look at this tack room this is such an amazing tack room and like we have all these different tack little wardrobe things and then a bunch of tack trunks. So I'm just going to drive back to the other barn and help load up the other horses and I will see you guys later because I bet that will be a lot of work. I'm so sorry that I wasn't able to get any footage of that. That was super chaotic, but I did get the horses here. There are six of them in this main barn. So I put four of them over in these stalls just because they're closer over to the other ones. So these two front stalls are empty, but that's fine. I guess that means I'll just have to get more horses to fill them up. <laughs> this horse here named Zeus, his dad is actually Raven. So if you know Raven, he's been in a lot of my other videos and he was an amazing eventer. Now he's a little older, so I don't do a whole lot with him. Raven's now 28. He's a thoroughbred. The horses are all really excited to be here. They're very interested in the property. I'm definitely not going to work any of them today, but I think I might bring some out. I'm gonna let Zeus just hang out here for a little bit. This little pasture isn't huge. It just goes right around that corner. It's really small, but he just really wanted to get out. I'm thinking of bringing some of these other horses out just so they can stretch their legs a little bit. They've been here for a few hours. These older ones are super chill. Here I have Flower and Sugar Plum. They are both retired. I don't really- sometimes I do ride Sugar Plum, but not too often. I'm just gonna let them hang out here for a little bit. This property is just really amazing. Over here, I thought this arena would be nice for lunging since there isn't a round pen. You know, this is a small arena. It would be really hard to ride in it. And then over here is the neighbor's barn. It's actually mostly underground, which is really cool. They have this huge arena up here though, which she said we're welcome to use anytime which will be really nice. You can see some pastures over there and some little jumps, but this arena is huge. So maybe we'll use it a little bit. 
the whole reason that I came here was because the other barn just has a lot of things that need to be fixed up and it would be just a lot trying to do everything with the horses while all that construction is going on. So I'm gonna be here for a little while. I'm not sure for how long, but we'll just see how it all goes. I know this was a pretty short video. There's a lot to do around the barn and I still have a lot of stuff that I have to move over. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day or night and I'll see you next time. Bye!